I will burn this planet down before I spend another <laughs> minute living among these animals. Ah. Hello everyone. Today we are going to continue the campaign of Mindustry. This time we are going to hell. Unlike the first planet, this one is way closer to the sun and evaporates any kind of water as soon as it makes a contact with the atmosphere. The only way to get water in this planet from these holes... What is that? There's a hole. So without further ado, let's go to hell. Our first destination is the onset. The first thing I noticed is the speed of my ship. It travels 42 meters a second. The average car speed in a highway is 80 to 120 kilometers a second. This ship travels 150 oh. kilometers a second. What I did first is mine the new ore, beryllium. This time I'm going to mine it from the walls. That somehow will never ran out of resources even after one million years. To mine these ores, I need to use a wall drill. I open the tech tree and unlock the laser drill, beam notes, and the turbine condenser. I built a lot of laser drills and connected them to the core with this. Unlike the power note in the other planet, this one uses beams to transfer power. The next resource is graphite. Thankfully, I can mine it from walls. Unlike oh other planets. God, oh, hell no, man. After connecting the drills to the main power source, I built two more turbine condensers and a silicone factory. I started producing silicone and because of that, my power supply is fucked. And the game requested me to make a tank factory to make my situation even worse. I built my first tank and it's slower than snails. The game didn't give me some time to know how the hell am I supposed to attack bases with this snails and ask me to research breaches. I researched walls as well because I had a lot of beryllium. I built a breach and supplied it with ammo and built some walls around the cannon. I'm going to call them cannons form now on because breach is very weird name. The game didn't like that I used double the amount of resources to make the bigger walls and forced me to make the smaller walls. The countdown started for the enemies to start attacking and they almost gone through the cannon. No, 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 no. I didn't waste any time and took one of my tanks to explore the area. I found the core very quickly and send the rest of my tanks to destroy it. Yes, 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 yes. I built another core to increase my unit capacity because every time you build a core, your unit capacity increases by 15 units. What I did next is build the Great Wall of China and some cannons to defend it. And it turns out this was more than necessary. Half an hour of waiting for my army to build later, and I took my tanks to the enemy base. And as we ride to certain death, we trust our successors to do the same for us! My soldiers push forward! My soldiers scream out! My soldiers rage! Without wasting any time, I have gone to next planet, Aegis. Why? 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 Why, oh God, fucking what? Two thousand years later. The game decided this time to spawn me with some drills and cannon, and I think this is very cool. Do you now? That's very generous of you. The game is, of course, not preparing me for the worst or anything like that at all and not like there is a disaster about to happen. My objective this time is to mine some tungsten. I took a look at the tech tree and found a lot of things. First was this radar. It allows me to uncover a very big area of land and the impact drill to mine the tungsten I just found. But I still need more resources. I built a silicone factory and researched the impact drill. I built it and waited for the tungsten to fly to the core. While the drill was doing its job, I made a tank factory to explore the area. I took the tank for some exploration and found absolutely nothing. I built a wall and some cannons and realized I accidentally deleted a ductwheel building and the tungsten wasn't going anywhere. You, you idiot. You're honestly an idiot. After the countdown was over, I took the tanks for some exploration and found the enemy base and destroyed it without even trying. The next sector is lake, a lake of lava. For this sector, I can't use the tanks because they will think into the lava. I first tried to increase my ore production because I think I don't have enough to research or to do anything. I need more resources. More! I found in the tech tree a new unit factory. This one allows me to make eludes. I am sorry if the AI is spelling some of those wrong. Those names are very complicated. Even I struggle with them. In the beginning, 
in the in the bini in the biningging one eternity later i built the ship fabricator and explored the lava lake i thankfully found beryllium and graphite near my base because my supply was getting very low after building this small setup i took my ship to go and find the enemy base i found the enemy base surrounded with cannons but it doesn't matter i'm going to destroy it in my first try <laughs> Are you serious? I gathered my army and with full force I have gone to the core. Well, that was a failure. But now I know what I'm going to do. I gathered my army again and gone to the core. The next sector is interest. This one is not an enemy base, but the problem is there is three oh, enemy spawn points. Here we go again. Because I only have nine minutes to prepare, I need to hurry up. I first build the walls, more drills, and two cannons, and I finished it in time before the first wave. There was a some kind of energy shield surrounding one of the areas that I can put a core in. I tried everything and gave up when the first wave started. It was only three tanks. It wasn't that interesting. After I took care of them, I took a look at the tech tree and found a new unit factory and a new weapon. I didn't have enough tungsten to get it, but when I closed the tech tree I found out that energy shield is gone. I didn't waste any time and build the core and some walls to defend it. I built an impact drill and some cannons to defend the new core. I researched the new weapon, and it's like a massive shotgun. shotgun. It's very good at handling large numbers of enemies. The next few waves gone by very peacefully until the last wave. After destroying all of the enemies. The game told me that there is also an enemy core I need to destroy. WHY?! WHY?! This time, I used the new units. I built a mech factory and waited for the army to build. Two thousand years later. It seems like I waited longer than I should. I took the army and destroyed the core without even trying. The next sector is Atlas, and this one was the first painful sector. I first increased my production. And after that is done, I made a ship fabricator and took a look at the tech tree. I found this new factory that makes gases for me, and an upgrade for the tanks. I took the ship for a ride and found the location of the enemy bases. I built a wall to secure the area around the tungsten, and for some expanding, I built some cannons behind one of the walls. And for the other two, I built a lot of walls. The first core I aimed at is the one with the lava lake. I took my units to the core and destroyed it very easily. and took a look around and found yet another core. And this one was also very easy to destroy. I split my units into two groups around each of the places I destroyed. To not allow the enemies to build again, I realized that the ships won't be able to go over the walls, so I replaced them with mechs. I made two mech fabricators and like always waited for the army to build. I took the mechs to the first core and destroyed it, and took them to the second core and destroyed it. The next sector is split. The purpose of this one is to teach me how to use the payload mass drive. I built a mech fabricator and took them to the core. EASY! The last sector for this video is Basin. This was the biggest one. I first built some drills and two radars to explore the surroundings, and built a giant wall with cannons. My first mission is to destroy two cores, which means that there is a lot more than two. I built a ship fabricator and started exploring the area. I found this scary laser that I believe can destroy my entire army in seconds, and more cannons. I took a look at the tech tree and found an upgrade for the mechs. And let me give you a spoiler. This is officially my new favorite unit in this game, because it can destroy projectiles. And you will see that in just a second. I took the ship to one of the openings, and found the core and destroyed it. I built a base around it to mine the tungsten, and made more units. I took them to the second core. And surprisingly, I gone past the laser and destroyed the core. But I realized that there is no time to celebrate. Because in six minutes, my base will get nuked. I thought my best course of action is to build a base around the second core. And that is exactly what I did. I also built a lot of defenses to protect it. Okay. 
I realized that I was secured of nothing, because I rebuilt it in no time. And I also realized there is four more cores to destroy. I took all of my ships to the new area before the enemies start attacking, and destroyed one of the cores, and then built a wall with a lot of defenses to claim this entire section for myself. And now it's time to get series. I took the remainder of my ships to find the rest of the cores. After I found their location, I made a mech refabricator for the new units. And for some reason, I also built a tank refabricator, and I don't remember why. I waited for about an hour and took all of the units to the enemy zone. Yes, from this day, from this moment forward, the world belongs to me. Obey me, subjects! Obey me, world! Well, that didn't go as planned. After that, I took the mechs to the last two cores, and destroyed them with ease. And with that, half of the sectors are completed. Those sectors were very easy until now, but form now on it's gonna get a lot worse. Ah!